One of the stories I always tell me is when I first came here and coach was like, what do you want to see yourself doing after four years? What are, what's your plans? And I told him, man, you know, if I don't be in the NBA, I want to play overseas or something like that. And he kind of looked at me and was like, man, you can play in the NBA. Like, I believe you can do it. And, and that, that's part of why I came here, man, is that somebody actually believed in me. You know, I felt like he was going to be there for me to help me actually achieve my goals. So, you know, um, and he pushed me every day. He pushed me every year to constantly be better, and he put new guys around me so that I could be successful. And I, I, I really thank him for that. He's a terrific talent. I believe I identified that right off the bat. Like, I knew that he was really good. What I didn't know is how special he was as a person. You know, the fact that through four-year career, he wasn't late for a lift. He, you know, got 3.5 GPA and, you know, just handled everything like a prof, you know, like you'd expect. Somebody like Chris, you know, who's such a star-powered kind of kid that, you know, could easily cut corners and, you know, treat people a certain way. I, you just mentioned before we came on that he stayed and signed every autograph. Um, anybody that was in the building that wanted to get an autograph, I mean, that just is who he is. And, you know, I think what what you realize is that that foundation of whatever that is, the goodness that he, he brought to the program from a, on a personal level is more valuable than even the, the shots made or the assists or, or anything else. That, that stuff is what really sort of creates a culture. And, um, you know, I think if, any, if everybody can emulate the way he went about things, um, you know, not on the court, of course on the court, incredible. Um, and, you know, I've told this story a few times, but, like, you know, I think people thought, like, oh, Chris just stepped into this. But, like, you know, we we were we were in the preseason, and, and he was coming in every single day and watching film of practice to try to figure out how to make sure he was ready to play. And that's just very rare. I mean, he was so committed to being great and so committed to trying to figure out how to be a – a great play first just like making sure he was going to play and then becoming great that you know uh, you know people don't realize that they don't realize you know they figure that he's talented they figure that he worked hard um that he works on his game but he was committed to all of it to be great and that, and that's why he is great and that's why he's in the NBA but his value as a person is incredibly incredibly valuable person to have in your basketball program because he went about his business the right way every day